Gone, Shalom, Makyam. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who teach him real well. And Shalom to the sincere Akyam, God is true for sincerity. Shalom. So, in this video, I want to delve a little bit into this article on endtimeheadlines.org which is a uh, you know so-called christian news outlet that tries to post news articles in relationship to the scriptures and you know concerning things that are you know going on upon the earth that have a major impact <clears throat> and you know this article because you know we have to basically you know filter out what we can use and what we cannot use in relationship to the truth and the scriptures but this is an article that matches up with biblical prophecy because as the title says it says nearly 93 percent of global central banks are now exploring digital currencies. And we understand that the Karakma in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 on down, has to do, you know, with digital currencies, man, or has to do with the form of payment in a digital manner. Because the... Um, the Karakma, you know, can also be better known as the RFID or NFC technology or the chip that they want to put and implant into the people, man. And without that technology, the people will not be able to participate in society. Not only will, you know, the monetary system be used, you know, concerning the RFID technology, but they're also going to use it for multiple things as well. Medical information. You know, being able to open up, you know, your car, your house, etc., etc., etc. But considering this article, it does line up with biblical prophecy. Man. <clears throat> because the time will come that the society as we know it will make it, um, you know, will make it, uh, I say that, there's this Dutch word, it's, it's like verplicht, but verplicht in, in, in the English is like, uh, she, basically without this, technology you know you won't be able to participate in society man once they force the chip upon the people so it says a vast majority of global central banks are exploring the scope of issuing their own digital currencies and it's a trend that could eventually aid the international campaign to shift away from the dollar according to a research paper published by international monetary fund stuff you know, and we see that uh, certain countries are already trying to do away with the dollar. You know, the dollar becoming worth less. You know, not being seen as the, um, you know, the, 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 the world currency actually concerning trade and, you know, petrol and, 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 and gold and things like that. Because right now the gold and the oil, you know, was always, you know, based upon you know the, the 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 dollar more or less but you know we see that these these countries are trying to do away with that and you know this cbc cbdc or central bank digital currency um, development that is taking place you know, we'll be able to you know do away more and more with the dollar man it says up to 93% of monetary authorities around the world are considering so-called central bank digital currencies. 
CBDC, and more than 100 countries are looking at retail insur in insurance of such instruments, researchers at the institution said, citing figures from the Bank for International Settlements. So, here it mentions again that 93% of the monetary authorities around the world are considering so-called central uh, bank digital currencies, man. The scriptures even say that the whole world, you know, will be tried, man. What is it? Revelation 3 or Revelation 2? This is Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which will come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Yes, so those that remain steadfast in this truth and the sufferings and persecutions that come with it. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai will make sure that those will be able to overcome the time in which the whole world is going to be tried when that uh, RFID technology chip you know, is being enforced upon the people, man. When it's made mandatory, that was it. The word mandatory is what I was looking for. You know, sometimes you don't be knowing certain words and then later on you come to find out that it's that word which then pops up straight in your mind, right? But yeah, most likely, you know, I had to explain it in a different way or in a different mannerism, you know, to, to still make myself very clear concerning what I mean. You know, but the time is going to come, man, which will come upon all the world to try them upon, to dwell upon the earth. So this means that this is a global thing, man. You know, so with the CBDC being, you know, more and more developed and being made ready and being more and more accepted by all, by all these countries and nations upon the earth, that means that it's also part of biblical prophecy being fulfilled, man. Because all the countries upon the earth, all the people upon the earth, they will be tried, man. They will be tried. <clears throat> because then they're going to have to make the decision. Are you going to be down with the society that is being set up by Esau, which the Heavenly Father allowed Esau to you know, govern it in that in that such manner? Or are you going to rely on faith and are you going to trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh if you are an Israelite? You know, because you also have those, you know, preppers and, you know, those that don't really agree with what, you know, the government and, and, and things are doing. But they rely upon the flesh, man. They, re they rely upon their own strength and upon the things that they've provided for themselves to survive, man. But the time that we're heading into, man, you're going to have to rely on faith, man. You're going to have to rely on your Haobash and your Shah to keep you safe. So right now you can you can run a business you know you can make money you know provide for the ministry you know uh, make sure that you're able to uh, help the brothers you know pay your tithes to the elder apostles of Jesus on down you know pay your tithes to the elder apostles man you know and when that money that is being given to them you know is needed not only for themselves but also for you know other brothers that are you know in need of help. You know, these things will also be done, man. You know, we're helping each other out, man. It's a body. And you're providing, you know, for your own family. You know, things like that, man. But don't rely on, 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 on the things that you're doing right now. You know, in the flesh. Because the time is going to come that these things are all going to be taken away, man. That we're going to have to... They'd be like pilgrims upon the earth, man. As it says in the book of 2nd Esdras. This is 2nd Esdras, chapter 16, if I'm correct. Now, so Lakia 15, <clears throat> verse uh, It is chapter 16. Starting at um, verse 40. O oh, my people, hear my word and make you ready to that battle. And those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Because a pilgrim doesn't really have any home or belongings, man. You know? 
But in the time that is ahead of us, we're going to have to be like real pilgrims, man. And wandering from place to place, man. Verse 41, he that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away, and he that buyeth as one that will lose, man. So whatever we have right now upon the earth or that we are working on or trying to establish, you know, we need to understand that these things are not, uh, basically they're temporary. You know, they're just a means to an end. You know, making sure they're able to have a house, a roof over your head, a hot shower while it lasts, clothing on your back. And the Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father knows how to, you know, deal with you and prepare you for these things, man. Put you up in the meantime, give you more responsibility, this, than the third. But do know and understand that whatever you're busy with right now, besides the truth, you know, is all temporary, man. Because the fashion of this world passes away. Verse 42, And he that occupieth merchandise is he that hath no profit by it, and he that buildeth it is he that shall not dwell therein. He that soweth as he as if he should not reap, so also he that planteth the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes. They that marry as they that shall get no children, and they that marry not as the widowers. Yeah, so basically you have to think about, you know, that whatever you're doing is, is, is not, not really profitable. You know, but it's just a means to an end. Making sure they're able to get by, man. Daily bread. You see? But going back to the article. Because, yeah, man, the time that we're heading into, man. We're going to be greatly tested. And, you know, we have to think about, you know, the situations that we're going to get in, man. And the scriptures give us the visions. You know, we can, we can meditate about it, but like the time of Jacob's trouble, man. We can only think about it, but we cannot really grasp. The, the, the greatness or the impact that it will actually have once it's here. You know? But we know that it's going to be there. Same with, you know, the hour of temptation. You know? But we see that society is moving towards that situation, towards the prophecy being fulfilled. And we should always watch for that, man. But there's not really much in it right now. You know, the end it talks about how China has already introduced a digital digital yuan, or Russia is going ahead with plans to pilot a similar version of the ruble. These countries are also at the forefront of the in, of an international drive to reduce reliance on the U.S. dollar and cross-border trade and investment flows. And what he has to and what has to come. To be known as de dollarization. Because they're trying to do away with the dollar, man. Giving America less and less power and strength over these other nations. Which shows you that America is, is, is on its way in a downward spiral, man. But yeah, this is um, Revelation chapter 13. In verse 16, because, you know, this is what's, you know, ahead of us. And it says, and he caused all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. 
So this current society, which is the revived Roman Empire that we're in, you know, is being prepared and is leading the way towards you know the introduction and the enforcing of the RFID and NFC chip technology as something that you know is mandatory and required for the people to be able to participate in the society. And without that technology, the people won't be able to participate in society, so they won't be able to buy or sell, you know, and make use of, you know, the daily things that are, you know, being able to be, you know, done right now, man. You know, just come on to think think about it, man. Right now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm living with my parents right now due to certain circumstances, and I already know, man, when the time's ahead, I already know, man, that they're going to be the ones... To just be down, you know, with 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 Esau, and forcing that chip upon them, man. I already know, man. It's the same thing with the with the with the Crown Nineteen, right? I told them everything about it. Don't do it. This, then the third. Then my mom wanted to take it, because she felt like, yeah, otherwise, you know, I have no freedom. Can do nothing. Which that was basically the forerunner to what's to come. People want to have their freedom, being able to participate, this, then, the third. So then you already know, man. And then afterward, my dad followed as well. Similar to Eve, you know, persuading Adam in the garden, man. You know? So yeah, man. Hey, we're heading into that time, man. And if 93% of uh, global central banks are now thinking about creating a digital currency like this to use it, you know, think about the implication that they would have you know, if they would introduce a single currency upon the earth, man, a, for the one world government. You know, one government, one currency... You know, they're even talking, you know, left and right about a, you know, one world religion. So, think about when that time comes, man. You know, history does, you know, repeat itself, does set the Bible. You know, we know that the time of Nebuchadnezzar, when he set up the statue, you know, they all had to worship that image. You know, during the time of... Uh, Antiochus, or Antiochus, what was it, the fourth Epiphanes? You know, also the situation where, you know, he made mandatory, you know, the worshipping of his own religion and, you know, the doing away of the, of the nations, their own laws and the accepting, you know, of the Greekish fashion laws. So we do see that these things happened before, man, they're going to happen again, you know. And part of that um, accepting of the laws and regulations of the society is also the acceptance and being down, you know, with the uh, with the technology that they're going to force upon the people, man, which is the RFID technology. So, yeah, hey, with that, I hope and pray that this video was edifying. And with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well. And Shalom to the sincere Akim, spreads truth and sincerity. Shalom.